Hello everybody and welcome to another Rental Tracks how-to video. This is the newest video in our how-to series and this time we are talking about new features to your order layout. So we had a lot of requests and a lot of great suggestions from our clients and uh, potential users where they wanted to be able to add images and create kind of a package uh, order sheet versus straight numbers and pricing. So very, very great suggestion and we've listened and we've added that feature. So here's the end result uh, that you're going to look towards getting uh, through this how-to video. Uh, and you can customize this, obviously, however makes sense for you. But what you're looking at here is uh, a new ability to add images to our order sheets that, that we're going to send to the client. So a little uh, word of warning so that if, if you do not have the web shop module active on your system then this feature will not work for you because the web shop module allows us to attach images uh, and image files to our our products uh, so if you do not have the web shop module it's uh, 588 dollars per year uh, if you're interested in creating these kind of presentations for your clients it's definitely worth the investment um, so you can definitely you can click on the upgrade link at the top of your system and add the web shop module even if you're not looking to add and use a web shop it's definitely useful to be able to do this feature and add these kind of graphic invo invoices and order sheets for your clients to let them see exactly what they're getting uh, so click on that upgrade link and add the web shop module and you'll be able to go through this how-to video but let's get back to how to create this so what we've done is create the ability to add uh, images to the order sheet. You can also add barcodes now as well, um, but we're going to show you how to do that. So this is the end result now that we're going to hope to get to. So we'll close this PDF out and we're back in our rental track system. So you're looking at your dashboard here once again, and we're going to go back and edit our layout just like before. So if I go to settings, I'm going to go down to layout and then go to order layout. And I'm going to show you kind of as the system has been changed, I'll show you what we changed. So if I go to my order type for music, and look at my customer sheet, there's a few things that are different. So what you might want to do if you're going to create a presentation is clear up some of the clutter. If we're looking at, for instance, if I'm looking at my standard rental page, there is a lot of uh, fields that are involved in the rental page in our standard, uh, standard order type and uh, layout. Um, so what I've basically done is I've cleared out a lot of this information the order status type of rental payment because what I'm creating is a a presentation essentially for my clients that is involving pictures I'm going to keep it nice and clean let them know how many they're having and the price of all that package altogether so I've taken this piece out uh, cleaned up some of the booking order information etc so what we've done under the music field is we've used our drag and drop ability to customize the paperwork and removed a lot of those different pieces of information. And all we've done to do that is drag it to the left and drop it off on the left-hand side. Then I've gone and added spacers. So if you want to add a spacer to your order sheet to create spacing, all I'm doing is clicking the little plus arrow in any of the blocks. And then I'm going to select dynamic or permanent defined text. I'm going to call it spacer. And then over here, I'm just going to hit enter a couple times. That's going to give me some spacing. So if I wanted to separate, say, my customer's uh, information from the address, I would just drag this in between the two and click Update Preview. And I should have a space there now in between this section. If you want a bigger space, add more, push Enter a few more times when you're in that text field. Smaller space, uh, obviously, you do less. But now we're going to create our ability to add the images. So I'm going to click on Product Display tab here. And I'm going to choose, you're going to first look at it like this, where it will say no. We want to say yes to adapt the product display. And then all I did was I cleaned up some of the, the columns. So you're going to start with SKU. You're going to start with uh, the text, the quantity, the discount columns. All I did was use this garbage uh, icon to remove that column from the point of view to keep it nice and clean. Then I've added a column. You do that by clicking to add a column. So if I wanted to add barcode, for instance, I could say yes. And what I did was I added one for image, and then I've selected from the drop down menu product image. That's going to pull it from your web shop module and add the image. I could do the same thing with barcodes if I wanted by clicking that using my product barcode as well. And then down in the bottom right, because I'm not necessarily using this for a final sale, uh, you might want to do that. I've, I'm not using that in this instance. I've changed the text by clicking on the text area to say your package price, and I'm just giving them the total order price, including tax. If you want to give them the full breakdown, including tax, uh, payments made, balance due, and this is how your, your 
invoices are going to look. You can completely do that. Just add the rows or uh, leave them in if they're already in your system. Then the last thing that I did is I didn't like the look of the headlines here with the text, price, quantity, image, and barcode showing. So all I did was choose to make them invisible by selecting no in that that selection criteria right there. Then I can take a look at it once again by updating my preview. So I can see exactly how that line's going to look. It's looking nice and neat. The text of the product, how much it's going to cost, how many of them. And then I know my image and barcode are going to show up on the last two columns. So I want to always save my layout. So I'm going to click on save. And that's it. Now I've edited my layout so that it will involve a, our, our images. I can download what that's going to look like now that I have the barcodes added to it. I'll open it up. I'll zoom out a little bit so that I can see the entire order sheet. And there you have it. So now I get my text as to what it is, the price of how many of them, the image of it, and then I have the barcode here as well. If you, It's a new feature to be able to add the barcodes, so it might not make sense in this layout, but it's available for you as well. I get my package price and a place for them to sign off on it if they want to go ahead with it. And I also have my space here between Bob's Big Band and his delivery information. That's it. That's how simple it is to create graphics into your layouts. But once again, you must have the barcode module in order to do this. Um, if you have any questions or if you want help adding the barcode module to your system, please feel free to give us a call at 888-92, sorry, not the barcode module, the webshop module, so you can do the images in uh, into your system. You can add the barcodes without the barcode module as well. If you want help adding any of the modules to your system, give us a call at 888-925-6236. That's 888-925-6236. You can send us an email at info at rentaltracks.com or check us out online at www.rentaltracks.com.